Hello everyone, I'm Gautam from Trans Water Systems Private Limited. One common question which I often encounter when I meet my customer is, what is the difference between TDS, hardness and PPM? When it comes to water, water tend to have lot of dissolved mineral salts and solids in it. Some of the salts are good for our health, some of them are bad for our health. Some of them are bad for our appliances like washing machine, geyser, dishwasher, etc. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids, that is the total concentration of dissolved mineral salts present in the water. If you have a water purifier at home, when the service engineer comes there for servicing, post the servicing, he measures the output quality using a meter like this. We call this as TDS meter. He measures the TDS of the water using, by dipping this meter into the water and tells you 100 ppm or 200 ppm, etc. How we measure the mass of sugar in kilograms or volume of liter in milk, we measure the total dissolved mineral salts present in the water in a unit called PPM, which stands for parts per million, which can also be uh, referred as milligrams per liter of water. When the service engineers say 100 ppm is your three years, which means 100 parts per million units of dissolved mineral salts present in the water or 100 milligrams of dissolved mineral salts present in one liter of water. What is a hardness? Hardness is nothing but presence of two specific dissolved mineral salts, which is nothing but calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate. These are the salts which creates scaling in your bathroom, tiles, taps, it damages your appliances like washing machine, geysers, dishwasher, etc. Similarly, how we measure the uh, TDS in uh, PPM or milligrams per liter, hardness creating salts that is calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate present in the water is also measured in the same unit called PPM or milligram per liter of water. I hope this information was useful to you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.